A friend of mine asked me the other day, how do I know that she's the one? And I told him, it's because I can't live without you. What would my life be without you, Teddy? I actually, I really don't want to know. I choose you today. I choose you again tomorrow. And I will choose you every day after that for the rest of our lives. I choose to go wherever you go. I choose to face whatever you face. If you should ever carry the weight of the world on your shoulders, I choose to never let you carry it alone. I choose to build a home with you filled with peace, happiness, love, and kids. Scratch that, lots of kids. <laughs> Sometimes when the Lord takes away something, well, it takes things away from us, it's only to prepare us for something better. The Lord has blessed me in so many ways, but never have I gained so much as I'm about to receive today. You have been my best friend, a mentor, a mother to my daughter, and Lord knows my greatest challenge. But most importantly, you are the love of my life, and you make me happier than I could ever imagine, and more love than I ever thought possible. And I could keep reading it, but everything that I read is in my heart, and with every beat, you continue to give me life. I love you. On this day, as the Lord has given me you, it is through him that I give you my heart. You're my now, you're my forever, you're my war, you're my truce, you're my partner in parenthood. It is my vow to you today that I will meet you where you are and love you the way that you need to be loved. I will forgive your shortcomings as you forgive mine. I vow to always trust you to lead our household, ensuring that it's God-fearing and remains our place of refuge for ourselves and our children. I promise to never allow you to feel lonely or that your best isn't good enough. I'll be your best friend, I'll forever be your number one fan and your consolation in times of disappointment. When your arms begin to tire or when you feel you absolutely cannot tread on, I'll be right there to blow into you a second wind. I love you for the amazing person that you are, the wonderful father that you are, and for the greatness that you strive to be. But lastly, I love you for your unique way of loving me. It's our time now, babe. Let's go ahead. I now, by the authority of God in the state of Texas, pronounce that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teddy has been infinitely blessed with grace, mercy, and favor. She is truly the love of my life. Truly. Teddy, I love you with both of my hearts. Oh, amen. And, and for those of you who are not aware, a few months ago, I had to have a heart transplant. Teddy was at my bedside for three months. Her and Darren and my son Craig and Ramsey. They literally saved my life. And then 20 minutes later, we got a call from the national transplant team that they had found me a heart. They rushed me straight to the emergency room. They did the transplant. Two hours later, I woke up. They were still in my room. What man would not want a daughter like this? She is truly my infinite love. Darren, you saw how she saved my life. You were there with her. If she does half as much for you, as she has done for me, you are living with a very 
blessed one. Teddy, I love you so much. You have brought out the best in me. Here's a charm for the next step in our lives. You're my wifey. Ever since I was a kid, I also admire the stars. I always just look up to the heavens and wonder, is there something better out there? Yes, there is. It's you. I name a star after you, so whenever I'm not around you, I can look up and know you're always there shining down on me. A star lives for billions of years. My love for you has no limit. I can't wait to see you. Love, Darren, your husband.